No Limits in Southampton is a young person's support centre designed to help on all manner of worries from domestic issues to sexual health and is even a place where young homeless people can find support and even shower and wash their clothes. Now though the service users have gotten together to brighten up the walls of the centre with vibrant and inspiring artwork, so I dropped by to take a look. The No Limits Centre in Southampton offers support, advice, internet access or just somewhere to have a cup of tea and a chat with someone who isn't a close friend or family member. Now though the centre has also turned art gallery as former service users in partnership with Red Hot Press have created inspirational artworks to highlight what the centre means to them. Our advice centre is kind of the hub of No Limits. Um, it's open six days a week and literally a young person can walk in with any issue. The vulnerable young people that are in school that are potentially getting bullied and need some counselling, homeless young people, um, young people that are facing neglect or abuse at home or even sexual health or employment and support advice. Also it's about upskilling the young people in regard to getting them to obtain their rights and also knowing what's right from wrong and making them understand what's going on in their current situation. Well we were approached by No Limits to make some artwork for the city centre drop-in to cheer it up a bit and uh, we wanted to work with the young people so uh, we sorted out a, a series of eight workshops with young people doing printmaking. From those prints we made the panels that are here on display now. I think the whole process in total has taken about four months from beginning to end. The workshops took place in March and then, uh, then once they'd finished, uh, they had to be put together and made into the panels that we've got on display. Each panel is a composite of both traditional and modern techniques and is a reflection of service users' feelings about the centre. It was really nice to introduce young people to printmaking techniques, which I don't think any of them had tried before. Um, we did some quite complicated stuff. Um, they did letterpress, screen printing, lino cutting and monoprinting, and all the work that the young people made was then collated into the panel. Massively practical traditional techniques, yeah, real, real traditional letterpress, um, using wooden type that's probably about 60 years old, traditional screen printing techniques, um, lino cutting that hasn't changed for quite a long time. So yeah, so a lot of craft at the beginning and then yeah, the digital bit came afterwards. The only brief was what do you think about No Limits? What does No Limits mean to you? And what do you want to say about it? And what would you like to see when you came in for the first time? They're sort of a amalgamation of everybody's work so there's bits within each piece of artwork from each of us I adore No Limits they've done so many things for me it's nice to be able to in a way give something back and also make your mark on a place that's had such an influence on your life I think it's something to engage young people and draw them in get them more interested in what's going on but also I think helping them feel at home here and feel secure and like this is their space rather than somewhere they're visiting but this is something for them. Actually it's absolutely amazing and the young people that have done this have kind of been with No Limits for quite a substantial amount of time and actually they're making their own informed choices and also making positive changes in their current life so this is amazing. One thing that I want to say about the service is that we do believe in all young people and we all believe in like kind of right based information for young people and to give them a voice also. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.